someone looks for a Krunkelstein piece or is interested in one, I think that they're looking for something that's just different. I try to bring what we call uh, a lot of whimsy to a lot of the pieces I make. As far as where my work is today, I feel like uh, it stands out in the way that, uh, the way that I blow out uh, the Millie Fiore chips and the Marini chips that I make. Um, over the last decade or so, I've moved in the direction of these square chips. So I pulled on all my cane in square form and then I patchwork together all these square chips, uh, typically hundreds of them to make uh, a specific piece. And so it's, it's based on old school techniques, but it's something entirely new because you can't use those old techniques. The piece I'm working on today is a long nose hawkfish. Uh, I've got five of them in the tank behind me, so I thought we'd, we'd make one of those uh, just standing by itself as, as a, a small rig. The long nose really stands out. The thing looks like a little miniature marlin, big long nose, and the pattern on its body is uh, like red and white, and it really looks like some of the patterns I use uh, in my Millie Fiori uh, in the blowout techniques. Once we get the piece in its basic shape, then I can go ahead and start getting the detail sculpting in. We get the face on, we get some good eyes. Eyes are one of the most important part of, of sculpting any type of animal or live thing. You really have to connect with the eyes or the piece is, is just worthless. Um, I'm trying to get to a point with my work where I can really just fully express myself. It's hard not to think about um, paying the bills sometimes and that can drive you into different areas of, of, uh, of imagery and things that you're going to be making. But ultimately, as an artist, you really need to follow your own, your own visions. I am trying to really just uh, stick to my guns and make what I want to make and the things that I'm passionate about and uh, stay away from the, the super functional things in our world. Mm -hmm.